Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a opening of my latest order from Lime Life Planners. And I've been waiting for this for a while. I'm very excited to share it with you. Uh, this is something I ordered, I think on Black Friday, because she was having a big sale. And it looks lovely so let's see okay she's got a little um, brochure here which is nice I've never seen this before mine got a little bent up but I'm sure that's probably because of the packaging but if you aren't familiar with Lime Life planners I do do PR for them they are a wonderful company I've really enjoyed everything I have used and tried from their product line and so far I have no complaints I'm really really happy with them so you can see here uh, on this page in their little catalog uh, they have a breakdown of the sizes of the different planners you can get so they have the 7 by 9 they have B6, A5, and a newest size, which is an 8 by 8 And I know they also have uh, traveler's notebooks in a variety of sizes as well. Oh, this is really nice. So you get like a little sample layout. And then you get uh, pictures here, you know, visuals with all the different layouts available. Okay, so this is really nice. I really like uh, how they do this. And then they have uh, notepads available. I'm not sure if you can see that. And then on this side, uh, they have a sample of, I guess, their shopping list layout. So again, it's called Lime Life Planners. I will have the link down in the description in case you're interested in checking out what all they got. So let's go ahead and dive right into my order. Now, what I love, <clears throat> excuse me, about Lime Life is the customization options. So what I did is I went ahead and ordered a seven by nine. This is going to be my work and business planner because I really do like that type of planner for work and you know scheduling and that type of thing. Uh, the only thing is I wanted this to be disc bound so I ordered the option of not to have this bound like you can either get coil bound or you can get it you know unpunched and then you can do whatever you want with this so you could you know punch it to put inside rings or in my case I'm going to punch it to put into a disc bound system so uh, let's go ahead and well it looks like So this is the cover design I chose. Now she has many options. Uh, I just wanted something simple and not too, you know, busy. So that's why I went with this. I can't remember the name of it. But you can see, which I didn't notice, um, on this side, you don't have the border, I guess, you know, here. So obviously this is where you're going to punch. Oh, okay. So I have an arc disc punch, and uh, I'm going to punch this, and I will, uh, maybe I'll do that later so you guys can see the process. Okay, so it uh, looks like you get a little clear pocket dashboard here. I can't remember what this is called. I know it. it's something where uh, she has a specific name for it, but it's like obviously a little pocket. So it's clear and you can slide in a design, photos, whatever, whatever the heck. And again, uh, this side is open so you can just punch right here and that'll prevent any pages from falling out. This is the uh, title page. And then you have your dates here. You have your year at a glance calendar uh, for 21 and 22. Then you have a habit tracker. Okay. Oh, and then you have a passwords page, which I'm not going to use. And the habit tracker, which I will use, but you only get, okay, I'm not sure for how long that is, but 
whatever, it's a habit, habit tracker page. Then you get the yearly plan ahead pages. So you have January all the way through December here. Now, again, because of the packaging with this, it uh, looks like my dividers got a little bent up, which is unfortunate. I mean, obviously it's not gonna take away from the functionality of the planner, but it would have been uh, a little bit more, <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me um nice if if you know that didn't happen but okay whatever so you can see the layout here goes into month on two pages you have a notes page in the front and then you get into what I this is the layout I picked which was the day on one page the hourly layout so because I do do uh, appointments, meetings, and client work and stuff like that, I wanted to try the hourly layout just so I can track my appointments, my meetings, my schedule, whatever. So you can see it starts at 6 a.m. It goes all the way until 9 p.m., which is fine. Those hours work. I don't really start until roughly about 8 a.m., but that's fine. Then you have a space here for today's priority to do's and then you have a little notes section here now this paper is phenomenal <clears throat> if you haven't tried the lime life paper yet it's stark white which i like and it's also very smooth um, i know gel pens work really well as well as the felt tip uh, paper mate flares that i like to use so that's pretty much the layout. Obviously, it's repeated. I got the uh, colorful. You can also get this in a neutral where it's just black and white. You don't have, you know, colored dividers on here. Which, you know, these colors are not too, you know, it's not too busy. It's just kind of like a uh, rainbow as you can see here. Oh, and that's the other thing. Um, you only get six months with this, which is kind of weird, but I think it's good because it allows you the option to try it without being committed to a whole year. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this, so I probably will go ahead and buy the following six months, at least as of you know right now. I think that's my opinion. So, I've got all the way up until June. Then we've got a notes, so, oh, this is not it. So this is, yeah, this is June. So now we've got the notes section. So you get a divider for that. And then I chose the dot grid layout. Now, I do like dot grid paper, but I think these dots are a little dark. However, I think for the purpose of what I'm going to be using it for, it should be fine. It shouldn't, it shouldn't cause any type of issues, obviously. Uh, they are double-sided. And it's not black, but the dots are like a really uh, dark gray. Then we have the back cover here. Again, very beautiful. And then Lime Life Planners. So that is it. So uh, I actually don't have any disc. Otherwise, I would punch these today. But I have to go. Uh, I need to buy some disc because uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Well, yeah, I guess I can use the expander disc and get the full six months on there. But that is it for my Lime Life Planners unboxing kind of flip through let's go ahead and do the advent calendars all right we're gonna do them now oh yeah and also everyone's favorite character is back <laughs> yes Kaden. yes so it's day 23 which would be day 11 okay eat we got this candle hey, be careful it smells it? pretty nice. I don't know what it smells like. What's the, um, what does it say? Oh, white, white cypress. Cypress. I didn't it's know It's got a pretty green. Was. Yeah, it's got kind of a uh, tree, <laughs> tree smell, huh? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Now let's do the next one. All right, so you're going to look for number 23 on there. Okay. 
23. Here you go. Oops. Alright. Here we go. Oh! We got uh, this. Probably another hand cream. Yeah, probably. Uh, this Looks says, like a carrot. Yeah, this is Cream Mains Honey Harvest Hand Cream. Oh, okay. That's a lot of H's. Yeah, but I think this is going to be one that I like because I do like the honey scent. Yeah. Or fragrance, I should say. So, all right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope you enjoyed the Advent Calendars with our special guest, Mr. Caden. Yes, and I hope you enjoyed me. <laughs> all right. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.